Number three, indicate whether the following processes are spontaneous or non-spontaneous. And then we have letter A. So is liquid water freezing at a temperature below its freezing point? Is that spontaneous or is that non-spontaneous? Well, the answer lies in what's the difference between spontaneous reactions and non-spontaneous reactions, which I wrote down here. Spontaneous reactions, they just happen naturally. So these reactions occur without a continuous amount of energy from an outside source. Non-spontaneous reaction, you need that continuous amount of energy from a outside source. So it's easier to think of something being spontaneous and answer the question to that. Now, liquid water freezing, right? That just means that we have H2O, and maybe I'll just write this over here, right? We have H2O, that's a liquid, and it's going to freeze, which basically means that we're just turning the H2O into a solid. Now, it says that we have a temperature that's below the freezing point, and the freezing point of water is zero degrees Celsius. Now, for all temperatures that are lower than freezing, is liquid water going to freeze? Well, yeah, right? It just naturally happens, right? Any temperature that's below freezing, that liquid is just going to naturally turn into solid. There was nothing that you had to do to make it happen. The conditions were met. It was below freezing. There's no continuous amount of energy from an outside source that is making this happen. It just happens naturally. And because of that, this is spontaneous. This is a spontaneous reaction. And there you go. Not bad. Okay. Thank you so much. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.